So here we part from the trustees main trail which heads this way and goes back to the Forest Street parking lot. Here's the Conrail tracks and due to some sort of liability anxiety they're still trying to figure out how to cross them. They basically tell you to refer to the Bay Circuit Trail trail instructions which tell you to go under a trestle bridge which we're about to come up to and pass beneath the line. This isn't a very busy line but it's still an active line. It's Conrail and uh, this goes up towards Framingham I believe or something. And this goes off towards Boston. And here we have the <coughs> slow flowing Charles at the sub bridge level. Yeah, big old bridge. So there is a vague way to do this, but not really. <laughs> Too bad. They really ought to invest in getting some kind of boardwalky thing. I don't see how it would be too much of an issue. It's probably attorney bickering. Wow. Be nice though. So yeah, this is the block point for now, until I come up with something more interesting. I would favor a simple boardwalk running underneath the bridge. And it isn't actually a trestle bridge. <laughs> the holy writ is sometimes a bit wrong, but it works nonetheless. When you compare the Bay Circuit descriptions, oh, see there's an old, one of the original version Venetian blind things back when Denny was using metal ones. <laughs> I guess they rust. The plastic ones last longer. <laughs> so yeah, there's a a nodal point of litigation, anxiety, quandaries to consider. You can tell the local rednecks think nothing of it. There's broken bottles from kids getting drunk there. People could not there to fish. There's all kinds of vernacular use. It does drive the railroad crazy though because they don't really operate on it particularly great profit margin. The last thing they need is to get sued because they end up flattening some idiot. And what we seem to have here is more typical pine forest the throaty roar of somebody's motorcycle. That funny tree distortion. The prior bending impact. Oh, abandoned old metal thing. Furnace maybe? Looks like furnace sheet metal. Hear my crew up ahead. Mm 
Yeah, another stone wall. And true. Ah, so actually the base circuit. Oh no, it does turn there. Somewhat confusing. <laughs> oh, I see the lower piece. You can see the shadow where it's missing. Mosquitoes are going nuts. And this is undoubtedly the home stretch to the ever loving parking lot. These trips were always determined by movement from one parking lot to another one. Although sometimes they transcend the parking lot issue. <laughs> Veritable clouds of skeeters. As my colleagues forge ahead. Grapes, more sassafras, like a fallen sassafras tree. They can get pretty big. And we came from this way, which heads up towards Duck Newberry eventually. We're heading this way, which brings us through vast swaths of terra incognita and finally to Bay Farm in Duxbury. And the mosquitoes are completely relentless. We're back down in the low. I had no sooner begun to recover from the mosquito bites of my Friday ale life excursion with, but I'm already getting new ones. is even more discernible. Can the parking lot be that far away? A little stream. Nice. It's probably... Oh, look at there's a beaver deceiver. The stream is flowing smoothly that way to the parking lot. And some floral matter. 